Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of what happens if you're too slow during the broadsword run on a mission midnight on Halo 4. So, during this part of the mission, which is the very beginning of the mission, you're supposed to be flying a broadsword along the Didact ship and trying to get to the very end as quickly as you can while dodging a lot of obstacles. And you, you can't really stop the broadsword. You can slow down the lot by pulling back on the, um, the left stick, and it'll make you fly a lot slower. And, you know, that's all fine and stuff like that. You could, you could do that if you want. It's, it makes it easier to mo maneuver around and stuff like that. But what happens if you actually go even slower than that? Like, what if you're going, like, way too slow? What happens? Does anything happen at all? Well, it's actually really difficult to accurately test that. Because you're always moving, you can't really stop. And if you try to go against the wall to stop, it, it you take damage just by even like tapping the wall. So it's really hard to tell if um, if something's actually happening to you because you're going too slow, or because you took damage along the wall, which it seems like you know just a little bit of damage like that blows you up. So the best way to test this was a little bit of simple modding, where I made it so. The broadsword is not always flying forward at a constant speed. You can, it actually, um, it, it, it starts in an idle speed, a neutral speed, and you can move it forward if you want, or you can just let it stand still. Well, as you can see here, the broadsword at the very beginning, when you're just sitting still, uh, it, it, you know, you're, you're fine. You're not moving at all, nothing happens to you. So, that was, uh, actually a little bit surprising to me because as you saw a little bit earlier in the clip when I slowed down along the wall it looks like when I got a little too slow there because of the wall I blew up but that might have been because I took damage from you know hitting the wall well that's actually not true because as you can see here once you move forward a little bit and then slow down right away you will instantly explode just gotta move forward and then slow down and that's it you explode but if you're sitting still at the start then you're fine so, what's going on here? Well, the answer to that is... There, well, there's actually two answers to the question of what happens if you're too slow. So, the first answer is that if you're not moving at all at the start, nothing happens. You can sit there forever. But the second answer is once you actually pick up speed, once you reach, once you pass a certain threshold of speed and then you slow down uh, behind that threshold, below that threshold again, then that's when you explode, the moment you go below that threshold. So here you could go, here you see, if you go really, really slow, like you just nudge it just a tiny bit, just a little bit of nudging, you'll be okay. You can still move forward like that the entire time if you want, and you won't explode. Now, if you nudge it too much or too many times, and you pick up too much speed, and you slow down below that threshold again, then you'll explode. So technically, if you go too slow, it's okay, nothing happens. But that's only if you start from a zero speed. But since normally in this mission, you start at a high speed, and you can't really, you can't manually slow down below that threshold, then normally nothing happens. But if you start from a high speed, and you manage to slow down like along a wall or something without the wall blowing you up, then you will actually uh, go below that threshold. And it doesn't matter like which direction you're flying, just once your speed starts at a certain point, and then it drops below another certain point, and then you'll instantly explode. So, starting from zero, going too slow, doesn't matter, doesn't do anything. But, starting from a higher speed, like a more normal speed, and then slowing down below a certain threshold, which I don't actually know what, I don't know what that exact speed is that you have to pass to, uh, to explode, but, Slowing down past a certain threshold from that higher speed will cause you to explode during the broadsword run. So, realistically, the answer to what happens if you're too slow during a broadsword run is that you will instantly explode. Now, I guess the game does this for two reasons. One is if you get if your ship got stuck for some reason, then it would just blow you up so you could revert to the last checkpoint. And I guess the other reason is it's supposed to, you know... Almost like it's almost like the Halo 3 Warthog run where if, if you actually go too slow on that if you fall behind There is a moving death barrier So that's kind of what this is as well. It's just if you're going too slow then you explode. So it's kind of the same thing uh, It's just to make them 
make the whole sequence go faster and make sure you don't fall behind and stuff like that. But yeah, so there you guys have it. It's a little simpler video today, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Make sure to leave a like if you did, leave your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!